just a few more minutes now left in Christina Cook's record-breaking space flight, 328 days in space, just about to come to an end with a, this upcoming touchdown. Please green audible. Air stop pressure, inaudible. Christina, yes, go ahead. So use MS-13 continuing to make its way down. Just a few more minutes. Uh, scheduled to touch down in two minutes, actually, at 3.12 a.m. Hopefully we'll get a little bit of video back. There it is. Inside, Christina Cook, Luca Parmitano, and Alexander Swartsov. Copy all. Again, one of the last things to happen here will be the uh, firing of the soft landing engines. That'll happen just a couple of seconds before the actual touchdown when it's about 39 feet above the earth. That's six solid propellant engines that are intended to uh, soften the blow of landing just a little bit. Altitude. Soyuz also has seat shock absorbers that will be turned on by now prepared for that landing. And the seats themselves are contoured to fit the astronauts individually to provide them the softest possible landing. Although all reports are that it still is not quite soft. Land inside. You can see one of the helicopters that's uh, been sent in to meet the Soyuz there in that view as well.
And it looks like Soyuz MS-13 carrying Christina Cook, Luca Parmitano, and uh, Alexander Swartsov has touched down 3.12 a.m. Central Time, right on time. And now after 328 days in space and 139 million miles for Christina Cook and 201 days in space, 85 million miles for Luca Parmitano and Alexander Swartsov, the Expedition 61 crew is officially home. Again, that uh, landing came right at 3.12 a.m. Central Time, 3.12 p.m. Kazakhstan time, following uh, the deorbit burn that set, it's on, set it on its way at 2.18 a.m. Central Time. Now that the Soyuz has touched down, we'll begin seeing, uh, hopefully, with this great view that we're getting, some of the helicopters begin landing around it. Uh, teams descending now that it has uh, safely made it to the ground and they can move in. Number of, uh, number of landing uh, support personnel will be moving into place to help the crew members out of the Soyuz. We should, uh, should see them as we usually do uh, in the chairs in front of their vehicle before they get uh, whisked away to the medical tent for their post-landing checkups. It is again uh, about 25 degrees Fahrenheit in Kazakhstan here at the landing site today so that they won't probably won't to linger very long but uh, as soon as we are able to get you a view of them we will certainly do so.